Ah merde, c'est une photo que tu veux Non, c'est bon, on va pas te faire filmer. J'étais en train de filmer. Ça conclut pas. Ça va Je suis en train de filmer. <rire> Excellent. Ah non, moi je, je me suis tenu. le midi 15 alors sur...
Homes? No owners? Who feeds them? Who runs the bill? We're supposed to have a tea party. I know what you're thinking, but there ain't nothing wrong. My name is Sandra, and this is my friend Nova. We both work for a company that's been training animals for movie and television for over 50 years. Many of you may not know that some of your favorite animal stars. Excuse me, ma'am. You want to try this bird? She's right there. Anna, sit down. Hi, Nova. This is crazy. Meet Sweetie. Very nice. Step two. Put it on. Speak. Get on your mark. On your mark. Good. Sit. Sit up. Yeah. Very nice, Cooper. Good job. It's all because of you, because you were concentrating. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit, but Captain, what are you doing with that? Script, making a budget, casting a show. A lot of that work happens on the left. It's out of those tan films that we call our production bungalows. Here you have the offices for some of the industry's top writers, directors, and producers. Big names like yeah, Dwayne and the Rock job. Johnson have got offices on the left hand side for his production company, Seven Bucks Productions. Seven Bucks, founded by Danny Garcia and Dwayne Johnson, they produce movies like Fast and Furious, brought us great scary movies like Get Out, Us, Candyman, and I'm very excited about the upcoming film. And Amy Pascal's back here with Pascal Pictures. Pascal Pictures, they produce all the most recent Spider-Man movies. Yeah, so a lot of really great minds have worked here. The back lot, well this is where we're heading right now. It's my favorite part of the tour. This is where we get to shoot exterior shots on a grand scale. Now 80 to 90% of a movie or a TV show is going to be filmed inside of a sound stage. Alright? Anytime you see a character inside of a like Tristan Eaton, it's a fun little homage to our Universal Monsters. That entire mural was coated with nothing but spray paint. Now folks, I told you I was going to take you across the pond to where we would fill scenes from London. That's where we are right now. This is London Square, the church on the right hand side of the tram. That is what we call a practical set. A practical set means you can come on the outside. I put that way. And more my dinosaur fans at the best of your use of gyrosphere best. from Jurassic World. Whoa. Now my eagle eye fans who are looking at that gyrosphere, you might have realized that there's something missing from it, right? And if right. you're thinking of the glass yeah. sphere around it, well yeah. you're sort of correct. Uh, oui. A lot of people wonder what happened to the glass. Did it break during filming or something? On the ring by a dinosaur. Now look at that thing, it looks like it's made out of metal, right? But as you drive past it, turn your head over your left shoulder, and you'll see that vehicle is actually just made out of wood. Even the oh, dinosaur man. cages up here that these dinosaurs are supposed to be in. Ah, look out, everybody. <laughs> Those cages look like they're made out of steel. <laughs> oh, they're not oh, they're just made out of wood. Although, ironically, no. you know it's not made out of wood. Oh, yeah, the logs on the ground here in Universal Studios Hollywood. <laughs> oh. Are you a mighty buddy, man? You gotta turn off the water, but you keep on running this long, everything overflows. Hey, Mike? What? Oh, no, no, look out, everybody! Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. Uh, Alrighty, friends, now check out your screens for clip of the week. Big fat liar. And you can see how far you might be. Thank you, man. Is man to find what comes right here? If you're a big fan, you know that the train station for neighborhood 12358W played a very important part of that show. A train station is coming up on the left hand side of the train. Now, even though I call this area the good place, it is officially known as Middle Europe. Look at the architectural design of some of these buildings. You can notice that they look like the architect. Two, three, George! Thank you. George, George, there's a shark coming right at you, buddy. You gotta get back to your butt, man. George? George? No! Oh, everybody, this is terrible. George was such a beautiful person on the inside. Okay, okay. There it is inside right now. Okay, guys. Yes. Alrighty, folks, uh, we're gonna pull forward and we're gonna hide behind. Thank you. 
Norman Dukes. Uh, that is Norman Dukes. <laughs> All right, um, whatever you do, do not make direct eye listen. contact. Do not film. Uh oh, no, no, no. Norman, Norman, the, the, these folks are cool. Don't worry about it. We're, we're totally cool. We didn't see it. Whoa! All right, folks. Norman, um, we see your point. We'll get out of here. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no, 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 no. Look out, everybody. Made out of foam rubber. Imagine your cars were made out of wood. But this, this is a real Boeing 747 that was purchased and then chopped into pieces for Steven Spielberg's War of the Worlds. Ah, it's the guy. Why is he so crushed? Why is he so crushed? Why is he so crushed? Hey, my friend in car two. I think you're standing. Don't let your wrist.